just know I'm down and diligent. I'm down and diligent. Ah. Mama always working late. Daddy didn't work today. I got all these bills to pay, and I'm not even thinking straight. Probably twisting up a wood, trying to see what's up today. I've been engineering on my music, feeling all type of way. Drowning in my thoughts, I might get lost up in this tidal way. Maybe I'm just tired of Seattle, I need brighter day. I get way too high, I lose my mind, I'm thinking all type of shit. Look through in your eyes, I see a star, son, your future lit. Smiling at your mama, all in love, that's my type of chick. Like, yeah, yeah, about yeah. It, sit on I'm the phone, quiet, listen to him or right. whatever, and then go right back to doing program. You feel right, me? Right. But when it's close to time to him coming home, it's like, nigga, get it together like right. in a couple of days. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just because a nigga, that, that you want that report. But I've been good the last couple of days, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. That's a kid. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, when your parents not there, they, they trying to make ends meet. But that's why it's so important for both it be <clears> two parents. Because yeah, when sure. you got a team, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can balance it out, Fine, but when girl, it's all like on it. one person, like a lot of people don't be realizing, like even with being a single parent to raising boys, it's like look at society today, all this gay shit that's being praised constantly. Like and now, imagine a single mom. Solomon, you could just pick you know up. what I'm saying? No, no, go ahead. I'm not stopping. No, no I'm saying good. like just <laughs> in in a single mom <laughs> shoes, it's like you trying to keep up, but then you trying to make sure they stay tough enough. And then it's like, right. it's it's so much Russian roulette with everything. It's like, damn, you don't really know which direction right, to go right, with the right, parenting right, right. because then if you too strict and now you got some sad, depressed ass kids growing up blaming you for being too rough with they them. They can't do this. They, they can't do, do that. that. And, and then when you on. linger, it was like, oh, you didn't put your foot down. You were always right. working and right. you, you get beat up either way it go. So right. it's like when you a single parent you trying to make up for the other parent and give enough love and then now you got to realize you're dealing with little people that brain is taking in everything now they know how to work you right, now they right, know how to, right, now right, you dealing right, with that right. now you <laughs> right. trying you to be a good right. yeah now right, you yeah. trying to be a good parent but you don't know if this little motherfucker yeah. playing you or not and yeah, they right, is yeah, and right. it's like it's like damn yeah. you cannot win for losing it's yeah. like you cannot never be prepared enough to be right. a parent and then right. not only that, that shit stressful as fuck because you got to take, like you said, you got to take uh, responsibility on their end too. Right. And your own. So right. that shit is hella stressful. Because even like, when damn, you just bro. don't want them to experience no type of struggle. So even when you be like, you you hear some parents like, well, I'm going to take off work because he just been acting out and I need to be there more. Yeah, yeah, but now yeah. in, in two huh. weeks. That hurt your pocket though. Now for you sure. trying to figure out how you going to pay for, that. for the football practice and pay for yeah. this because I had to take them days off. But kids don't see that part and nobody else really look at it that way either. Like it's literally like we, we like Tupac has said, like we dying to live and now it brings more understanding to it because it's like the way we overwork and the way we program that we don't have no chance to take a break or slow down. Mm-hmm. And it's like that wear and tear on the body and the system, the, the deprive of sleep and all of that play a role in the function. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you dealing with dep- deprived of sleep, barely getting help, constantly going and the kid playing with you. And then like, now, now you bring understanding to, unfortunately, I'm not saying it's cool or nothing, but when you have postpartum depression parents, you'd be like, how the fuck she do that to her kids? How the fuck? When you so deep in the dark, it's like, sometimes you feel like um, y'all not existing is way easier than going on another day and figuring out how I'm going to make ends meet. When you don't have help, some people have more help than others. Mm-hmm. Some people have more sources and access to more sources than others. And it's some people that don't got no direction, no help or nothing. And they up against the wall constantly. And it's like, damn, now you put that with everything else that come with life on a person. And you, how how, how could you say how you would react? Right. But what, what are some of the solutions like, the, the, to me, the only here. solution is ever going to be as us, whether it's black people coming together or families being more stronger together and supportive. Like mm-hmm. we have to have a unity. That's the only way anything is going to work, because once 
We all came into a mind frame that I don't need anybody. That affected us worse than anything yeah. because um, as any any of us know, we done had experience where family not really there for us, but a stranger is there like, God damn, you just right. helped right. me with everything overnight. Right. Right. Like, yeah. I've been right. going through it. Like, and you just came along and that's God. You know what I'm saying? But at know. the same time, it's like, just imagine if family didn't worry about why you needed the money. I just gave it to you and made sure you was good because either way, whatever you do with it, I'm going to be blessed either way it right, go. Right. But we got family that's too. Is you on drugs? Or yeah. What, right. what, why, you, what, why you need the money? What happened what? to doing the shit out the it's like, of your damn. Heart. That's right. my favorite thing to do. I, my, my thing is, don't tell me the excuses ask for. It. Yeah, yeah. Right I might say no. If you tell me yours, and I rather, I right. rather a person just be like, "Can I get this or whatever?" And I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna press you like, "Why?" But you, you can't say in our culture that's not what like that'd be the biggest thing of why people don't want to ask because it's damn. I don't want to be embarrassed and be like, it's "I've been putting off yeah. this for a while and I, I gotta pay this." That. I don't want to tell my business. Yeah. You feel me? Right. Like I just want you to be there for me. I need help right now, and even if I don't pay you back, you know how to deal with me for now, sure. though. For sure. yeah. You feel say me? That. So. So just yeah. let me burn my bridge instead of you trying to prevent from, from helping you making every excuse not to help me. And that's what our people be doing. It's like, you want to know my whole background and she either help me, let me burn my bridge or gone. You know yeah, what I'm facts, saying? Right, so it's facts. like with anything, we just need more uh, unity together. Sure. We need to be yeah. more love yeah. and stop worrying about because you know what, when love come, you don't really ask questions because it's, it's, it's loyalty behind yeah, it and it's sure. trust behind it. Come so if now. we have more love and trust and loyalty, it'll be like a whole lot of shit we could get through because I don't got to second guess you. I don't got to ask these questions and shit because it's all love here. Whatever you do with it, my nigga, like mm -hmm. whether you about to go buy a sack with it, I'm you know I'm not going to approve yeah. of that, but that may get you through the night tonight. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah. in your shoes. I don't know right. what you got to do or how right. you got to do it. Right. You know Too what I'm saying? Judgment. Right. Too yeah. much judgment. Too much judgment. So right, it's yeah. like, damn, if, if motherfuckers just learn how to love each other in unity, you know what I'm saying? I gave him this and he ain't never paid a nigga back, but I see him blossoming in, 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 in where he at in life or whatever. Like you get people like I helped him and that nigga, that motherfucking 50 didn't get me here. You feel me? Like, God right. damn, black people crazy yeah, than a motherfucker. I, 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 no, I'm just I'm saying, like, right. a motherfucker would give you 20, 50, and sometimes you'll forget to run it back because you're going through so much shit yeah. and you robbing Peter to pay Paul right now. Right. And then once you start, you know, getting graduating in life, elevating, you got a nigga like, I gave that nigga wooty woo woo woo. Yeah. It really was $10. And he feel like he helped you get there because yeah. he helped you that one time. You so was going you say through that, it. I right. just paid that nigga that 10 yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Be uh, like, yeah, yeah. 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 If I borrow right. money, I ain't been like, if, if I knew, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know when I could pay that shit back. I'm not going to sit up here and just give you no date like that. I'm going to be like, look, it's up to you. If you want to get that shit to me. But <laughs> right, right, it's right. like, look, I need this wooty woo woo. Like, yeah. man, I don't know. I don't know when I can. I know that I'm going to pay you back. But out of embarrassed, how many know. people really be honest, though? No, so one. everybody is always, That's always two or three days. Yeah. So they, but yeah, even yeah. when a motherfucker, uh, imagine, even when a motherfucker borrowing it, they make an excuse to make it seem like they got it right now. Yeah, and yeah. they got you because yeah. it's the embarrassment. It's just the keep embarrassment. it real. Yeah. You don't I got it. it. They just right, got right, it on right. hold. You know what I'm Hey, man, my account froze right, right now, but, you know, tomorrow I'll have access. Right, right. I got you. Like, right, right. My it's cousin, like, we 50, and we 50 direct. Yeah. 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 You hear me? Right. So that's what I'm saying. How many people really be honest, though? Bring us in. Bring us in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's a fire. Hey, yo. Hey, y'all better bring us in, though. Y'all know what that is. Y'all tuned into the Dad Podcast, Down and Diligent Podcast. You already know. Tell them what to do, correct? Man, go ahead. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, follow us on all platforms. We on TikTok, Instagram, we're on uh, Facebook. So yeah, man, tap in with us. You already and, know, uh, man. Yes, sir. We've been dropping dope reels, everything. So y'all stay tapped in, stay tuned in, man. Yeah. But um, you already know we got a special guest. We you got a special yeah, guest. Know. Yeah. fire, fire. Right. Introduce our special guest because I already, 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 already seen a glimpse of uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, the I want to right. Y'all yeah. see a glimpse of the passion yes. that she bring. It's I had to make sure mm -hmm. I had I bring uh, my good friend on here. I, I grew up with her with her oldest son and daughter, uh, dad, uh, Big Dino, and um, it's crazy because we grew up together. And then I know her cousin uh, Keith. I met him when I was in uh, Missouri, right? And I didn't 
even though we live like right around the corner from each other, we never met each other, never crossed paths, right? right. And we had Keith on here before. Oh, yeah. the real to do. You got to come back. You got to come back. We, yeah. we got to get him back too. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Keith, yeah. man. Keith Allen. I didn't learn some shit too. I want to bounce. Yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Yeah. So I, actually, I met him when I was in Missouri playing football, and we like, like, yeah, man, somebody from Compton that's here. I'm like, man, who from Compton that's here? And I'm thinking, like, <laughs> <laughs> you from Compton? You people like, man, you from Compton? You from Compton? Right? I'm like, man. <laughs> like he was in the county or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, we're in Missouri in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Right? We're supposed to be brothers. So I, yeah. I got to get on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I met him, man. And he was like, man, we knew all the same people, bro. And it was crazy. I'm like, bro, we live right down the street from each other. And ever since then, we've been cool. So I was introduced to to Eli and they, you know her sisters, her brothers, and all that. So most definitely. Yeah, and actually, and her sister, I, I met her sister, um, and we were uh, at Cal State Dominguez. She went to Dominguez with me. And we used to always chop it up. And we know she's going to bring her on the podcast It's like, as well. it's just like me and Joey always, it was like every time was a new function. Oh, it's right, like, damn, right. how you know? It just kept right, coming. Right, right. It just we every always time. always to each other. So, yeah, I had to make sure I brought her through, man. So, That's here goes. Uh, without, you know, without further ado, Eli. Book of Eli, right? Eli. 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 He got, got a great following, too. Man. Yeah. That's how yeah. it's they keep yeah. taking my damn ground. Yeah. Right, right. So okay. that's you might have to pay that $14.99. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would not. I would not pay no fourteen ninety nine for that, what right, I'm right. already is. Right, why right, why right, they take right. your grounds? What you want? Right, that's man. why I, no, I, I wanted to make I mean, sure she I just can. be. I, I probably too much speak on government stuff. I speak on hood What's stuff. I speak on. Lot? I speak on everything, and it just be like raw. So it be like so many people be feeling like the shoe fit, and it be like I'm be reported left or I don't have Instagrams only for like a week, and they take it like just yeah, yeah, too yeah. many reports. Like right, damn, right. they would not let me live. Not let so, me so, let so, it. Oh, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead, so the po- that's why I wanted to get around here because she get this. The podcast is a platform to really share your share your mind and share you without that much. Even though it's like YouTube, how they different. Yeah, like, yeah. YouTube yeah, let a minute go by. Line. Yeah, let a minute go by without saying nothing crazy and let it go. And just let <laughs> it go. Right, right. So you um, can talk your shit. So yeah, so um, so podcast <laughs> is a better platform to really share how you feel about because yeah. I, I see, man, out. You know, accept a re- accept a friend or a follower, and then the next week, a shit gone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Especially on Instagram like, and shit, because they ain't paying no more. They ain't paying y'all. They trying to take like that away. For like a month, they ban you for that was like a thirty day or something yeah, like that. They yeah. be mad too because even like before they take my stuff, like they always send me notices like that. I got a good wave of accounts that come view my account. Mm-hmm. Like, do I want to make it a business account? Mm-hmm. And then. Uh, promote this and that, and yeah. you, they want you to like bring money in. Like yeah, it's man. like your account is rolling, and it's like we all could benefit. It's how they be getting at you, right, and then right. when you deny it, it's like get you out of here. Oh yeah, you know yeah, I get yeah, you yeah, out of yeah, here. Yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. So it's like I've seen accounts that do the same thing I do. Got ten thousand plus or more uh, follows, and they don't have no issue. But sometimes it's the messenger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the yeah. way the message is delivered and who it is. Raw, right. And it catch, yeah, yeah it catch mm-hmm. the, the wrong vibes and shit. Yeah. You got people that agree that, but that just hate that it's you that's saying yeah. it. So, right. you, and you're going to keep bouncing back and coming back. Like, yeah. so what? I mean, you yeah. can't keep me quiet. Right, so it's right. like, it's it, it only yeah. take me to start opening my mouth. And once once motherfuckers start sharing, it's over with after that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't ever definitely. be worried about the follows because once I start making videos, the people going to come. So. Sure, yeah, oh, yeah, you already stepped. Stoning it, so right, yeah, right. when they see yeah. you talking that shit, yeah, they, yeah, they right, already right. be up for like, oh shit, I've been looking for yeah. you. Where the fuck you been? <laughs> so, yeah. But I got one thing to say about the, the burning bridge thing. I say it will all. You don't have to burn the bridge if you can communicate. I think right. if you yeah, could tell them something like, hey yo, like I don't got it right now. I ain't. I, when you tell them like oh, I'm gonna have it next week, and you tell them like oh, I don't got it right now, man, I'm still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the best thing of not letting me assume nothing, right? Because yeah. right. I didn't been through that, you know what I'm saying? Me and my partner, me and my boy, was just talking about like I didn't, you know what I mean, like been down and ran off on shit, ran did stupid shit, and the whole thing was nobody was mad at me because they was willing, they were trying to help. Yeah, but yeah. since I was like avoiding cats, it was like 
you can I can assume what the fuck I want to now. But yeah. that right. just go back to honesty. It's just it, when a motherfucker be like you honest said, got that and pride. straightforward. Yeah. Got that pride. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. That go back to but like, a motherfucking you know what I'm like. You know a motherfucker don't got it. If you dodging me and you avoiding being where I'm at or you being in the same circle, you don't got it. But a motherfucker rather just d dodge you and play like yeah. they, yeah. you know, yeah. got you later instead of just being like, I don't got it right now, but I got you. But another thing we deal with is a motherfucker telling you they don't got it, but God damn, they got these three hundred dollars shoes yeah. on. Yeah. You just but went shit, and got. Why you got that right shit right on? Right right. Right. Owe me though, not like yeah. that, but at the same but time. That be that shit. Shit. But that be the. But that be the. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying like. But that's part of being the biggest problem too with our culture though. A motherfucker be hating when they do get the money to give it back. They not ready to pay you back yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. It, they yeah. not ready to pay right. you back. Exactly. I need these J's. It's like, come on, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? On, and it's like, on, talk that motherfucking shit. hell no, I understand yeah, that. Right. I'm going to pay you back because my anxiety right. go kick in. You know hell yeah. yeah. yeah that's going to fuck with me. That's going to fuck with me. Like, damn, bro. Like, that's my anxiety, really here, too, because I can't know? run for nobody. Yeah, and I'm a, right. Me neither. And I'm going right. to tell a nigga, like, if I, look, bro. <laughs> I ain't forgot about you. Yeah, right, right. yeah, yeah. Right. I ain't forgot about right. you, my nigga. Right. Trust right. me, right. I ain't forgot about you, my nigga. Man, why would you tell right. me, man? Yeah, I don't got do. it, man. But I ain't know no funny shit. I'ma respect it because right. yeah. I know where. I'm talking about me personally. Me, yeah. me personally. Yeah. To me, that that's, that show you love and respect, though. When some yeah. motherfucker mm -hmm. come to you yeah. and just be straightforward and be like, I appreciate that. Well, I ain't about to mm -hmm. trick myself off the street for your little petty ass, nigga. I don't give yeah. a fuck. I tell people all and the time. And I ain't gonna like, burn no bridge, though. No good no. bridge. Like, especially yeah. if I know you good people, you was good enough to fuck with me and get this to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna burn that relationship yeah. or whatever right. like that. So right. why so? Because I'm not about to just ask anybody off the streets right. For, right. to borrow right. something. Right. You feel me? So if I ask you... Obviously, I trusted you. I fucked with you, and you gave it to me. You fucked with me in a certain way, so I'm not gonna burn that re whole relationship. Period. Right. Yeah. Right. Hell yeah. So, so with that being said, you know what we all we all got perspectives on different shit. That's why we all come to the table, share yeah. our podcast, right, our platform, our decisions, and all that that we make throughout life. Man, we want to know about your background, what brought you to where you are right now, and can you share a little bit about, you know what I mean? Your up, your back, your upbringing. If you, what you yeah. don't, what you mind sharing, yeah. whatever when you mind sharing start? with the people, mm -hmm. how did it start? Yeah. Uh, damn, where to start? Right. Because it was just like so many life lessons and growing up. I mean, I had to deal with the, the. Okay, I went from getting taken from my Hispanic side of the family to now all black side of the family, and in a way in a household. I was raised, I was loved and went without nothing though, you feel me? Yeah. But it was a different, it was like always a lesson of you light-skinned and back in the days, your kind thought they was better. So now I'm being, I'm being handled based on you light-skinned mm. and I got to teach you that you not better. So you already pre -judged. So boom, yeah. that's a, that's a, a, a confusing thing because it's mm -hmm. like I went from being with Mexicans and that's what my mom's side was mm -hmm. to them not liking us to we was niggas and black and all, oh, man, we went through it or whatever. It was like a damn near thank God to mm -hmm. come on this side. And then it was just a whole different ball game now. You feel me? What was the difference? Then, yeah. the, the difference you messed it up. You the, like difference it? Was, <laughs> the difference was with the Mexican household, they, they was mad at my mom for having kids with a black man. So mm -hmm. we was niggas. We was, we was, Everybody was at the table eating ice cream and we had to sit in the corner. That's what it was like. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. took a bath and you could take a bath now after everybody in they water type shit. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like that. Baby out type shit, huh? Like that. Wow. So when it was time to go to the black side of the family, Your it was pops. like, oh yeah, yeah, my dad's side. Um, it was just like, damn. Then we had to go through drugs too. My mom was on drugs. So sometimes we fell at her mama house because we was at her house too many days by ourselves. So, you know, people in the neighborhood would tell her, so she'll come get us type shit or whatever. But it got to the point where somebody called child services and they was mm. fit to take us and shit. So mm. that's when my dad mom stepped in, came from New York and got us. Mm. So it was like, even being raised, that's when I was raised with my cousin Keith and them. Mm -hmm. They straight black and my grandma raised her daughter kids and she raised my dad Shout kids. So it was too. like, Your grandma's uh, adult, it was still lady. always was like a, still a different bear because she wanted us to know we wasn't better because you light skinned it. Your so, background Compton, right? Yeah. 
Som dum Som dum So From being from Compton It was different I love my Compton cats man For sure So being from Compton It was different A different type of battle When you went outside Because it was like Where we was going to school And everything Growing up You from where you Even if you was to tell somebody That Oh I don't bang on Wooty Shut the fuck up You feel me Like nope. nigga You from Wooty You, from you yeah. over You yeah. live over here How you know You them niggas And that's <laughs> You love You love Exactly over there, right? yeah. So it's like So off top It was like Southside Compton So A nigga was From Southside Compton So I'm from a hood That be for all The hoods in Compton mm. So it's like Wherever we Go, it's and an all issue. all the hoods in Long Beach. It, yeah. So wherever we go, it's a problem. So growing up, it's like a, a motherfucker don't got no choice but to be on all 10 all the time. Like paying everything attention. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. because like I tell anybody, you would think that a motherfucker would have been more cool on a Hispanic side. If I go to a, in a Hispanic party, they all going to be looking at me like, why is she here? Yeah. All the females going to be like, why is she here? You mm. go, I go in a black party, they going to look at me like, who invited her? Mm. Mm. Like so you, you was kind of like it's my like whole life, and still to this shit. day, it's the same way. Like a motherfucker don't get invited to shit because a motherfucker gonna steal the attention. Not that I want the attention, but you got people that done came across videos, done heard about me and stuff, and when they finally get in my presence, they got unanswered questions or they curious and then I get to talking, and now it's a crowd of people right here, and nigga didn't mean to steal the show. You right. feel me? A, a lot of people is intimidated, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like, and that's one another big issue in our culture is that if motherfuckers wasn't so intimidated by the next person and you focus more on you, then we could get over hurdles right. because sometimes <clears throat> the, the things that I got knowledge to, if I give them to you, you can actually get farther than me. Sure. And I know that. Right. I know right. that. Right. But I cannot let you get farther yeah. than me because I... I got to beat you to that. Yeah. I got to be right, the right, one right, to pull right. up with the bag and All the that. whip and the... Real I was going to let you do it first. Right, Even right. though I know you're going to open that door for all of us. Right, 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 right. And intimidation is a right. thing in our culture for real because it's like, bro, like you said, you don't want the next person to get further than you, but we all can learn from each other. Yeah, and come on And like, if you sufficiently like comfortable and have... Uh, all the fucking um, <clears throat> what word am I looking for? If you believe in yourself, bro, you don't be intimidated by nobody else. Nobody. When they if you're not nobody. in competition with nobody, it's okay to see him on stage and mm -hmm. me be in the background. Yeah. And yeah. I don't. Everybody want the light though, and sometimes you gotta realize that you don't gotta have a light to have a light though. You right. feel me? You Just know. like a manager in the in the music. Uh, Lil Baby and them is 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 the attention, right? But the manager in the background doing what? And he Real and he's manager. the machine yeah, behind, behind this behind shit. It. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And Lil Baby so, knows that. But everybody that. want the light. Right. So you mm -hmm. got niggas that ain't supposed to be rappers, but instead of just writing, <laughs> yeah. I'm just I'm gonna put it like this: instead of just writing and blessing you because I see you got the swag, the skill, the All delivery, that. the All everything. That. Yeah. You just don't you, you your, 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 your rhyme yeah. not right though. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, it's it's about the delivery yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? I could rap something and y'all could be like, uh, and then he could get up there and you could be like, wait, thing. that shit sound yeah. different. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Make right. it sound different. You got right. too many people wanting the light when a lot of these people could just be instrumental or they could be the writer or yeah. they could be it's right. other things in yeah. the music but yeah. everybody trying to force this rapper like yeah. they right. the rapper they the yeah. rapper yeah. you got the skills for a rapper but you don't you, you, can't talk, you don't rapper. possess right. Right. you know what I'm saying right. Right. Hey, so, it's funny you said I don't go no nah, I'm good there, yeah. there it but is it's <laughs> funny you said that cause it was once by the time I called myself rapping. I heard a couple you know tracks. <laughs> I was nice, bro. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Still to this day. 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 I call no bars on, on social media from time to time. But, you know. But, um, like, when my little brother was coming up, I started seeing he had that look. He had that feel. He had that whole swag. And he could rap. And I was like, Damn, let me just step back, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Not just because you my little brother, but you got it. You got that whole image and the whole voice way more than me. Yeah. So I'm going to step back from this shit, bro. Sure. And let you have that. And I want to just 
pour into your career and yeah. what you doing. Yeah. Right, right. You feel we, me? We need Shout more out to people. Nacho. Yeah, we need more people yeah. like you. Out yeah, there, real. Sure, nah, man. that's just real that shit, just, bro. Because you, you gotta look up recognize. Nacho, see Daddy O stays yeah. behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a hype man. I'm a hype. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it in front of me. Get out of here, nigga. Stay in the room, man. But that's where real love come in at because it's like. Uh, you living through him. You didn't get you to live me? that dream, but God damn it, you, you got it though. Yeah. Like, and, and you I'm, the closest thing nigga, to him. You so you me? still living your dream by supporting him. But yeah. like I said, it's always a tussle for the light. And it's like, our people can't, a lot of men can't do that in the black yeah. culture. Be like, yeah. I'm going to pass the baton because you got it in you. It's like, no, at this point, yeah. it's a competition, nigga. Like, right. how can I get more viewers now? How can I? Because I'm in competition with my own fucking brother at this right, point. Right, right, right. He right. got it. Right. I just got the money. I don't really got it. Right. But he don't got the money, but he got it. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's where right. sometimes it be talk. like, uh, okay, you talk. feel right. me? Right. Some, people want that light. Right. Some, right. People, some people want that light. Some people want to get left behind. Yeah. All that. You right. feel me? That's how they feel they're gonna get left behind Come though. That's you real. know, you know, I know that's a gang, real. I know a gang of I know a gang of like, you know what I mean? Like kind of like rapper that's in the energy industry. Yeah. And like you know, I be at the shows and all that. You could tell by the like the politics of it. Like cats is just like on edge because they thinking they the next that can't come. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and, and then like you don't even do nothing. Yeah. Right. These when you can, when today's time is show you that work speaks for itself because you see all these female rappers throwing some bunk out there and it go viral one time and they in a dough. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. We talking about overnight. You know what I'm saying? So it's yep. like it it just yeah. it your shit gotta catch the right ear, catch the right attention, the right, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. then it'll take you to the top. Some shit just ain't meant for you. And people gotta open their eyes and realize, okay, this don't float my boat, mm -hmm. obviously. So I'm gonna switch lanes right. and go here. But they be too worried about if I move, then you gonna get this spot. Right. Mm -hmm. And it ain't mm -hmm. even a spot. Right. And yeah. right. you ain't even right. Right. It's, 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 it's uh, crazy because when we started this podcast, we all knew what we was all capable of. You feel me? And we all knew our positions. Not like that, but we all did. And we all know what we could bring to the table. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? And it was always an understanding. It was time Dez would be like, nigga, nigga, what you doing, nigga? You got to do this shit. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Yeah. And vice versa. I sit up here and tell Joe, Dez, Verno, or whatever like that. And all of us, just right. the same thing. You got to do this part because yeah. you better at this part or whatever the case is. You understand? So we need more of that. Yeah, We need more of that. We need to push each other to be great, but we need to hold ourselves e accountable, though. For sure. At sure. the same time. Because a lot of people, just a lot of us don't hold ourselves accountable. Just to being real like they say they is. Yeah. If you yeah. real like you say you is, then that's come with it because... Like I said, you don't got to worry. You loyal, straight right. off the rip. You know what I'm saying? And you're not in competition with this this man next to you, right. whether it's a brother, a friend, or whoever. Like, you own your role in your life. Once mm -hmm. you secure with that, then you ain't worried about this right mm -hmm. here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You able to say you you could do this with you, woo-woo-woo, because -woo -woo, mm -hmm. I know I got this mastered over here. I got to yeah. stop you there, because right. everybody realness ain't based off of loyalty. Yes, sir. Right, right. Yes, and I, sir. I got one question, too. Uh, I remember you mentioning uh, real the realists get the short end of the stick in most situations. Yeah. Or or they the the real is um you know looked down upon and mm -hmm. the fake is was was being proud. I wanted to know your thoughts on that shit because well, we own the topic. Yeah. Okay, so some for that too. My yeah. opinion about it is that the the real get the bad end of the stick because you you up against so many people. You got people that. That majority in the room is followers. Everybody can't be a leader. Everybody ain't even got enough heart to be a leader. Right. So yeah. you majority of the room is followers. You feel me? Right. So mm -hmm. if they following whoever in the room, that means whatever they say, they follow suit behind that because mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying we yeah. we look up to him or her or whatever. So I could be in the room stating facts on whatever we addressing at the mm -hmm. time, but. Now I'm up against more than one person because politics, politics is playing a role. And yeah. at the time, whatever reason we don't fuck with you, you can't <clears throat> win. Right, 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 so right, you can right. win. We refuse to allow this much. Even if 
I'm going to just use y'all. Even if y'all don't say nothing, you two can look at each other and be like, let's shut her yeah. down right now. Yeah. Right, right. At, in a podcast right yeah, now. Yeah. Right. You we, feel we're me? We're thinking about it right, right. now. I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm saying is, they get the back end of the stick because uh, 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 we're not worried about who got our back. We're not worried about... If what I'm saying right now, if y'all opinion, y'all going to agree with me. I don't give a fuck if you agree with me. Right. Right. I stand right. on, right? Yeah. I, 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 whatever I, stand I on say, this shit. Mm-hmm. I stand on however I feel. I stand on that. I you know what I'm saying? That. And that make a lot of people uncomfortable because yeah, maybe yeah. my voice a little bit louder than yours. Or maybe my uh, the, the crowd behind me is a little more supportive than yours. So Ooh, you can't yeah. come for me yeah. because you're not comfortable enough to come for me. Yeah, you feel right, me? Right. You ain't got enough army. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or I'm too so short it's to like, box me. Even yeah. with being real, sometimes it's you versus everybody in the room. Yeah, and, yeah. Sometimes it got to be like that. And you can't say that ain't the most uncomfortable no matter That's what you up against. It's the most uncomfortable. Yeah. I've been there plenty of times. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But when you stand on how you feel, how can you lose? Right. And, and, and then when you can't lose... Just imagine everybody in the room watch you walk away with that win. Yeah, Them versus right, you. Right, right, whatever yeah, right, it is. Right, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, so yeah. it's like I could speak real shit on whatever the subject is, but since you against me, you can't agree with me. So now you going against what I'm saying and a motherfucker's following suit because we can't mm-hmm. let her win. Right. Yep. Right. And then a lot. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead, go ahead. Oh shit, I done fucked up. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but um, um, no, like she said, like the real, because you know, if you real, it's no gray area in right or wrong. Yeah, right. you feel me? And like, and like you said, like in in the politic, in anything in politics, we can make the wrong thing seem right. 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 Into yeah. the politics of it, even with if, enough people. To the come people, together, you know, you know then I mean? we will single you out. Like, I know I did this. I know I fucked up, but I got a stronger Real influence talk. than you, so we will politic your right exactly. to, right. to wrong exactly. and start the way. Yeah. Exactly. That right there. Even when you going against the grain sometimes, and motherfuckers know you right. Like you said, motherfuckers know you right. But it's just it's just what's behind them, what's, oh, this is what they got. I got to go with them. Yep. Fuck that. That's like weak-minded to me. And that's what we need. That's and a that's solution. Why the, that's why the that real needs to is change always by themselves. Mm-hmm. Because man, for real, I'm gonna be able to stand on how I feel without without everybody agreeing yeah. with me. And now that I see that, mm-hmm. when I'm stating facts, I stand alone. Why not rock alone? Yeah, why like, not be alone? Yeah, because yeah. y'all, 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 we all from like areas, Compton, all that. Y'all know yeah. it's like people like y'all from an area, and it's like this the like you know the family. From our area, right, and right, yeah. nothing yeah. can go wrong about them. No, you right. can't say nothing wrong. Yeah, Everything right. wrong there is whispers. Because if you get too loud, you can. This might be yeah, knocked off. The yeah, truth yeah. holds no exceptions, bro. It and, is what it, it is. But you know, in it sounds good. Time, that's it sounds why good everything the fucked up. That's because that's how it really up. go, though. Because it ain't enough people to voice. Because oh, you're gonna get singled out. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you addressing facts, but nobody want to go up against this family. Yeah, yeah. Right. it is. Because right. you is, came though. to the hood and you was by yourself. You came to the hood. You was by yourself. You ain't got no family. So you really, they, they, they over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For everybody, you feel mm, me? Yeah. Like, so it's like at the end of the day, that is a, a, another thing, depending on who you is or who your family is. You know what I'm saying? It's politics behind it or mm-hmm. whatever it is. So be yeah, quiet yeah. about that or whatever yeah. or what. Not even a gang. I hate to put that, even not even like in neighborhood. It's in everything. No, Work that's course, what it though, is. If, a person yeah. gotta, if, if I can, uh, what's that shit? How is it called? Like, um, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but if I can get my family into something and we running this structure and we got. And subordination talking, we gonna yeah. get you up out of there. Yeah. No matter yeah, if we yeah. do, if, if you, you right, yeah, right. nigga, this my shit. Yeah, right. get the yeah. fuck up out of here. Right, yep. right. So, um, so going back to the, uh, you know, the background and all that, right. So we were talking about how to. So you are a mother, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many? How many? Four. Get, four kids, right? Four, four kids. kids. Yeah. Two boys, two girls. It's boy, girl, boy, girl. Oh, oh, oh that's okay. what's up. You what's the, uh, what's I'm a girl dad. Four and things. It's twelve, eleven, six, seven, and they all close. Uh huh. They, they, they damn near. Close. You got damn near two twin sets. Uh huh. Cause look, you like I said, you probably don't remember me, but our kids used to go to the same school. I thought your kids was twins the whole time because they had the long hair, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I was the two was oldest ones. Two they oldest. um yeah, it's like having a set because with all of them within a year, I had the other one right mm-hmm. after having them. So okay. so hey. uh, so going back to that, I wanted to know because you mentioned uh, how to separate. Like so, you're a mother full time, twenty four seven. How how can people separate the streets from home? Because it's 
it's a thin line sometimes, right? Yeah. Just be like yeah. on a topic. How are we able yeah. to separate the streets from home and even as men, even as women in, you know what I mean, in our community? So the way I feel about it is everybody claimed that they went through the struggle. Everybody uh, had it bad coming up, even though, you know, majority people, family worked their ass yeah, off. I and didn't, people, I didn't have it bad. I had to realize that myself. Like, I, I, was, I was bad. living. Yeah. I was going right. good. <laughs> My mother worked never, her ass off right. she struggled. Right. Yeah, I but I'm saying, yeah, they, the parents struggled, right. but I'm saying they worked their ass off, but you didn't. Like, right. it's yeah, kids yeah, that yeah, really yeah. like eat noodles every day still yeah. to this day. Like, it's yeah. kids yeah. that really like their choice of shoes is Chucks and... Shout out to my and, kids, man. Yeah. Shout out to mine, too. Chucks and anything below 30, nothing higher than that, you know what I'm saying, versus Me. Uh, all of us was in right. J's every yeah. week, every right. two weeks. Have a fit if I didn't Had give my them. fucking grandma right. in line. Yeah. I still fight that. Yeah, I never, I never, like, I never say like, 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 I'm just saying, like, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's why your heat, that's why your closet got too much heat to wear white man. Right. That's why I'm just talking about that. I never say, get at you know how, how, how it's like, how it's like, round upon people always say, yeah, I grew up in a bad, I like, I grew up coming from nothing, but I do not have, I was straight. Yeah, I was straight. I was straight. I didn't, I was good. The only thing that was like, off about ours was like, literally the game banging. It was like, it wasn't no limit. You had like middle school grown men coming up to school fighting little kid. Like, damn, it was yeah. turned up like that. Yeah. Like, like, man, you know what real. I'm saying? So it's like, what I was saying was we all say we came from a struggle and it was hard and it was so down and dirty or whatever. So the goal is to try to make it out. Even though when you make it out, now you get beat up about you making it out and not coming back around when that's the goal. Right. But um Shit, man. separating it is <laughs> is as <is> elevation <clears throat> i know sometimes i play both sides or whatever because uh sometimes the streets is still access to money there or whatever and mm -hmm. like i said i am a single mom so sometimes i straddle the fence but um as you elevate you you start to realize that the mentality it don't fit it, it's either you're gonna grow up or you're not mm -hmm. because uh, it's still so much that come with the street life, whether you live in positive, got a job right. and you still right. hustling, right. you still dealing with hungry people. You still yeah. dealing with people that's down there that yeah. even though they watch you get up and go to work and still hustle, mm -hmm. they feel some type of way about that whip you pulling up in every day when you dropping that sack off yeah. and you still yeah. dealing with the hunger. You know what I'm right. saying? When you worked and you got to the place that you at. To avoid going through right. them type of issues right. and shit. Because it right. seems like a, it's a direct conflict. Like the home and then the streets is direct it's, conflict. It's separation. Like the, the home is where peace is. Home is where quiet is. Home is where you can gather your thoughts. Mm -hmm. The streets is where the chaos is. The hate. Right. The, 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 the So you don't mix the two. Once you start bringing the streets home or the streets got access to your peace. That's when, then that's what's when the your point? son, that's when your yeah. son, your infant right. homie, huh? For real. What's, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, for real, for real. Uh, and, and how you separate that's when your that son like, under with, you. with your children? Uh, it, it end up falling like that because you you not giving too much outside of that to look up to. Mm, Homies yeah. at the house every day. It look like chilling. You hear now, the stories. You hear now the stories your son too. not paying attention to you going to work every day. He paying attention to shit. If you just hustled, you still could pay the rent though. Oh man, talk right. to you. Look, like I was saying, talk, like talk. everybody I, rather the easy way out, right? Mm -hmm. right yeah, the right, hard right, way. Yeah, so right, right. Even yeah, I'm, I'm a firm believer. Kids, work smart, not hard. Even dealing with kids, how many of us was in in high school and was like, how can I make it in life without college? Yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying. Like right. you always looking for a shortcut. You have so many tools How now to where you don't have to go to fucking school. Right. Yeah. Like right. you don't I mean, have to go to college. Right. I tell bro. my son that now though. I will like, tell him like you, really you don't, don't have to go that route. School not for me. That's, that's what I thought. Okay, so I thought was, we all we on yeah. the same page. Right. Now, that's look, what I preach to mine. Look at what technology and how shit is going now, bro. Right. You really don't even have to go to college now to be successful. Right. And that was the thought. That was our thought process. You didn't have to do it back then either. But that was a program and a cycle that, that, was, that, we yeah, that we was stuck so in. So that's what was preached to us. Right. You got to go to college. You right. got to go to college instead of them pre pressing on what you want to do right now. What you like to do right, right. now. We right. can invest in that. Let's do something with right. that. Mm -hmm. well, our people was stuck. And I, unfortunately... They is why we it took us longer to to catch up and get on track 
late 20s and all that type of shit because our people was living in a cycle of uh, not all of us. I'm glad my granny didn't, but uh, the county and that that whole cycle yeah, yeah. of the man can't be in a household. And the, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That broke us more than a lot of things. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Of women figuring out how to survive without the man yeah. being in a house, mm-hmm. even though going to get that income was hurting a family more than anything. You yeah. feel me? So, yeah. and that's a generational thing too, right? Because even back then, like, uh, say just section 80, you, you on section eight, you and your kids, but you got a man in the household on section eight, when you got an inspection, you got to get all this shit and get up out of there, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All his shit got to go, uh, put the shit in the car, do what you got to do or whatever. But you can't be seen here like that because you're not on the lease. You're not yeah. on the section eight lease with me, right? So, <clears throat> even just with that, and with somebody hating, calling, yeah, call. yeah, call. I you seen know, that happen. Yeah. You know a I lot of times, a she lot of times, for sure. females call on the next for female sure. or whatnot. <clears throat> but even with, with with generations, time change because <clears throat> back then you had the man that did want to work and help or whatever, but he couldn't work and help if he was in in the household in order for her to get assistance, mm-hmm. in order for mm-hmm. him to get on his feet to get a start. It was no access to to help other than street money back then. A black man could go in for interviews all week. They're not going to hire him. Yeah, he got right. a record straight up. Yeah, right. So that's why they w- was doing the street money or whatever. And then now they got to run and leave because the point of her being on the county is he cannot provide he for the around. family. Right. Yeah. Right. And he's not around. But is that... Does that make an exception to our let's just say let's not being crack, be your say, kid's let's life? Say cracking, not being your kid's life, but let's just say crack in the 80s, right? Would you I every time I think about that, I think of would you fucking would you fucking save the world? What what's the saying go? I'm, somebody help me out, please. I don't know what you're would talking you, about. I'm sorry, you, sorry. All right, look, look, look. Would you um would you, would you, would you, I got to think, bro. I'm kind of slizzed a little bit. <laughs> would you, um, would you kill yourself to save the world or rather kill the world to save yourself? Well, if you love your kids, to me, you will sacrifice you for whatever's going to be a better Better yeah. future Better for, for them. Your, for Hell them, right? yeah. What you seen, um, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, that's called sacrifice. They sacrifice. Yeah. Because yeah. they knew every day somebody was out to kill them because yeah. they helping they, too many of their people. Right. They fighting for their people. Sure. They put their life They on are the a leader. Without yeah. the leader, they going to follow order. Yeah. yeah. And operate. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X would never say get on the county. Don't take them people money. Exactly. Yeah. Struggle together. Figure it out. Figure it's it a out. way. It's just we don't want to live by the ways to get us there because we want the Jordans. We want the flashy life. We want the. We don't want the struggle. We yeah, want right. to skip the struggle and get to yeah. the. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's where they came from. Working together right. and you know making ends meet together until right. they made it to the top. Right. Today it's like. Them niggas not balling. Yeah. We don't have nobody to sacrifice. For me, I feel like when you got kids and stuff, it's so much right now that got to be sacrificed for their well-being of the future because for they, sure. it's ugly for them. For sure. Yeah. And it's going fast. You have yeah. to sacrifice. You have to be a down and diligent parent. And look, like I was saying, I seen, I've seen, seen. I was watching an interview and by you being a mom of four children, this interview was this man, he just did 22 years in prison. He just came home recently, uh, or whatnot. And his take was his father was a truck driver, right? But his father, he was married, he had his own family. He'd check in with him every now and then. He'd drop some bread off, do what he gotta do as far as that. His mom worked at the post office and he stayed with his mom. He said his mom made sure everything was good with him and his brother. She raised three of them, three boys. Everything was straight, like they didn't want for nothing, they didn't need for nothing, uh, but she was always at work. She was always grinding, always around the clock. And he said he always had freedom. When she go, he step outside, 
everything in the world was assessed to him. Drugs, banging, slanging, fucking, everything. Right. And he said the freedom that he had cost him his freedom. Mm. So my question to you is, how much freedom do you feel like is needed for your children and to where you have to be, to where you have to manage that shit? Um, because too much freedom can be deadly. It can be evil. It but is. at the because, same time... Like I said earlier, you when your kid go into the world, you you deduct all them hours of you got to go to work. We're going to say uh, 12 to 16 hours a day. Because mm. in a single parent household... Then you tired as fuck. You got to work 12 yeah. plus hours so a you day. Really, even when you there, you really ain't there. You're not yeah. there. You tired as fuck or yeah. whatever. And then you got to think about like with me, uh, no matter how much I work, now you got to on them off days, though you want to sleep, you have to spend this time with them. So I always find somewhere to go, where we gonna go. Sometimes it's free places, majority of the time it's not. But I always find somewhere to go because in my mind, I already know I'm working too much. I'm already gone too much. So I don't have time to sleep because I'm all the way deprived than them from their parent now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, they don't want to hear I'm tired. They don't want to hear I'll work or whatever because you brought me here. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. That's the only right. thing that's in there. Right. You brought me here. We don't see so, that. Yeah. But you try to uh, stretch yourself in every way, but it's no perfect way. Becoming a parent in my oldest is 12 is realizing that no matter how much you work or provide or whether you hustle or whatever, these people got their own brain the way they take in things, their own way, mm -hmm. and they're going to go about their life. We don't know what they exposed to. When they're not, when they at school, you, how many kids in a room, uh, when you was in school, this motherfucker watch porn all the time. This motherfucker a class clown. This motherfucker right here, he the, he the dope head. This right. motherfucker, everybody, all these different right. personalities. Mm -hmm. One of them, he gonna feel like his life is just so unfair mm. because he can't get high because he don't have freedom mm, to watch right. porn because he don't he all this shit in front of him. Yeah. Everybody life entertaining him in a different way. Right, right, right. So as he get older, he gonna pick his poison like we all did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, right. I I think going back to that question because my mom was if you much... raise him right though. Mm -hmm. with, 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 oh. If you raise them right to a certain degree of understanding why you say what you say and mm -hmm. the meaning behind things, though, even if they stray when they get older, they'll will themselves back right. versus mm -hmm. the ones that just, you like, they a lost cause at 20. Right, yeah. Like, ain't no saving him yeah. type like shit. You know what I'm saying? But kids that you install real life, when they get in the world, they'll start putting two and two together like, oh, right. that's, so we're talking that's, that's why it's not all right. 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 We, talk, yeah. we, talk, yeah. we, talk, we talked about the values, right? Yeah. That's the values that you instill in your kid. And that's what pretty, and, and the morals that you instill in them. So even when like I'm you out and you got that freedom to be outside and all that, you always going to go back to what... What you mm -hmm. really know. Like, you know, Hell, I, mean, yeah. I know I can't, I shouldn't be doing that. So I might right. not, I'm not going to do it. So, because my mom, she worked or like I was, she was a single mom, right? So I, she worked from two to ten. So I got out of school at at three. So I had all day to really do whatever I wanted to do, right? Mm -hmm. But the values and the morals that she, I was dibbled and dabbled in different stuff, but I always stuck to what well, the values, the core, of, the core yeah, of what yeah. I am and what I know. Some exactly. people step outside of it. It just depends on the values that you you Definitely. instill in your kid, right? Right, because even I was the benefit of being raised by my grandma because. Even though I was in a lot of shit or even around a lot of shit, I still had the brains to maneuver not to fall too victim mm -hmm. or too, you know what I'm saying? Crash out, be a crash out. Right. Yeah. 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 So it's like, it's it's what you instill in your children yeah, at the end true. of the day. Because like I say, even though they might say, oh, forget what you say. You know, everybody go through that stage where you get kicked out because you don't want to listen and all yeah. that shit. Right. Now, when you get out there and get a taste of the real world, you got some that, that just become just street they just because they mom ain't ever taught them shit real talk real they learn the most out the street than they real did talk. in the household but not even just the mom what about the pops 
What about yeah. the dads? Yeah, well, we talking about school. when we talk about our generation, most of the dads was, was, was in was, prison yeah. or whatever. Yeah, okay. So yeah, my dad like, was in prison, but you know, what I mean, I had a stepfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was some men that did father. good, but that shit. Right. I mean, and don't get me hard. wrong. Don't and get I, me wrong. It's and, I, and no the resentment, I used to fucking hate that nigga. No, I, I was just about to say, and how much did he have to go through before he won your love and respect? Because even growing up in a black household, you got to hear from this little motherfucker. You ain't my daddy. You ain't my mama. You ain't no, the, the and that's the most him. hurtful thing when a motherfucker busting their ass to make sure you and your mama good. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, I, and, I, and and that's the thing. I was like, I was five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just happened, and I said what I, I said it. Yeah. yeah. What you say? <laughs> just thinking about my daddy. Right. <laughs> you know, right. I know right. my daddy is, nigga, but no disrespect. Like, you know, no disrespect. No disrespect. You, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Like, but I'm a kid. You feel me? And they they. It was something that was said to me of, right. of a front of my dad, mm-hmm. and I'm like, "That's not my dad." You feel right, me? Right. Not it. shit. I'm out. I'm out spur- person now. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Versus, if your mama would have sat down with you and and broke it down to this no, isn't mama, your I dad. Knew, I know. I knew who the nigga was. I'm it not, ain't I'm even sorry. that. It I knew who that. the nigga was. It was me saying this nigga is not my yeah. dad. Why are you? Referring to him to my dad, oh, you feel it me? Was one yeah. of them I think it's a boy thing too, though, because at the end of the day, my my step pops, he was I fuck with him for real, for real. I love that nigga for real. He taught me so much shit. But at the end of the day, you just knowing as a little boy, like nigga, my this not my real father, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. And my dad been in jail all of my life, still to but, this and day. You got to think of a, a little boy coming up. Hold on, a little boy coming up. Unfortunately, dad being in jail was low key cool. Like my dad, tough. My daddy, yeah. 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 I felt yeah. like that was my destiny. Like yeah. this shit, you, you know, it is real. what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? My dad from down the street, the area. You feel me? So you know what I mean? I hearing, oh yo, yo, yo dad, this Ellie, your dad. Oh, 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 you feel me? Hearing that yeah. and everything, to hear yeah. about my brothers and stuff. So it'd be like you know, you trying to live under. Under the under the the fucking circumstances of how they do shit, and like yeah. you know what I'm saying. But that was the thing about I say about my I had what stuff that I I didn't like the nigga, but it was off of all because you ain't my dad. And you ain't my At dad. The moment, that's but, the thought. But, but but that but but now that I think about it, it was it's so bullshit because I got it like and now that I'm grown. You feel me? I used to hold the resentment like nigga. Kick, they kicked me out. Remember I was telling you I used to hate that nigga. But I was 23 years old. Yeah. That's still, and a lot of our people don't realize. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize though. You still low key a baby. Still. I'm a baby, yeah, but I'm I'm, 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 I'm I'm trying to let my nuts but hang. He doing yeah. his. I'm doing my he doing thing. His own typical thing. bullshit. Yeah. I'm. I'm no, I ain't no typical. You know I'm, I'm big bullshit. <laughs> like I'm super bullshit. Yeah, 21. Once you hear you grown like that, and I'm not living in the hood. Don't take your ego to that level. I'm not living in no hood. I'm living in the fucking suburbs. I'm living yeah. in the cul de sac. It's mm-hmm. only. Yeah. Two black people on the block and the other nigga not even black. They islanders. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. There's only two real black and it's me and my little brother. Yeah. See, I, me, I don't like to live under the false pretense of certain things. You feel me? I like mm-hmm. to deal with the reality. Like the reality of it, your fucking dad is on death row, bro. He probably not going to come home. But at the end of the day, fighting, he have a legit but chance. But that goes back you to know what, what I was saying? saying far as in our time younger, if they would have brought meaning to what they were saying to us, then we would have been more understanding. And that's what I do more with my kids. Mm. I bring meaning to why I'm saying what I'm saying. And kids have to realize that I love you. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. I'm not trying to just control you because I'm older or Mm -hmm. I'm your mama. I love you. I'm trying to stop you from crashing out. Do your kids have an opinion? Do yeah, it, they do. They do it matter they, to they, you. They, they, do it matter they, to you. I ask, I ask them their opinion. I, I, mm. I want to know, like, what, yeah. what do you think about this? I don't bounce up, do have fights in the middle of the motherfucking street, and get back in the car and be like, so how y'all felt about that though? You feel yeah. me? Like run it down you because it. at the end the of the day, you know what I'm saying? I was, I'll tell them, I'm like, yeah. I could have, if the police pulled up, that could have been ugly. Like I got y'all with me. I'm not supposed to be acting out like that. So was you scared? Was you with the woo woo woo? And uh, it's like, good, you got though. one that's, that's like, yeah, I was scared. And then you got one that's like, no, nah, I just wanted you to beat her up. Yeah, and you yeah, got one, yeah. they got different aspects. Now the one that was scared, what, what were you scared of? If mm-hmm. I'm beating her ass, what, what are you scared of? Right. You know? Know what I'm right. saying, and then you can use them moments to be like, 
just like I beat her ass, I'm gonna do that to anybody that think they gonna have any harm or mm -hmm. do. Yeah, I'm that. gonna protect you and love right, you. Right. Your kids have to have the security to want to come to you exactly. for anything. My exactly. kids think I'm the biggest, baddest motherfucker walking. They be mm -hmm. like, "Do you know who my mama is?" Like my mama will beat him mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Him. Yeah. <laughs> right, let me right, let me, right. let me so ask you. When oh, they feel ahead. like yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. they could go to Incredible Hulk. Right. 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 You know right. what I'm they saying? When like they go in the world, it's not too much that. They gonna be scared to go up against because at the end of the day, if I can't win, my mama yeah. gonna win. And it, it's yeah, great yeah. that you letting them share their feelings on shit too. Yeah, because yeah. like we, like you said when we were younger. We probably some a lot of people didn't didn't have a uh, the the no keep it real you were kids stay in the kids place oh no I was a teenager you know I was a teenager yeah and it got you in a lot of trouble too oh hell yeah remember we used to go remember mom because you know my mom is the baby of her family of her her siblings. So it's like she knows how it feels to be overshadowed mm -hmm. a nigga telling her to sh be quiet. So I was like the only one of my people. I wasn't raised in the church. I was, you know what I'm saying? I was the one that got to be like, nah, I'm not feeling that. Like, right. like you feel me? In front of aunties and shit. Like, I'm, right. Like, and everybody like, like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's going to say something. You know what I'm right, saying? I'm the right. little eight-year-old saying, I'm, I'm going to speak out. And that right. was me. That was the one that's like, wait a minute. So we in trouble because of this? Like, but you got to make some sense of that. Yeah, because yeah. I don't care if you grown. Yeah, you right. cannot just tell Explain me, this. To me I, why. this not don't make no sense. That's and right. that's one thing an adult don't want is a kid to challenge them when they know what they saying don't make no sense mm -hmm. or Facts. they don't have no point Facts. to what the Facts. fuck they challenge saying. Me. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. That's, that's I I no, but challenge. that's because you know behind what you Man, got to say is a point and a reason why. So it'd be like, I no, wish you yeah. would. I right. take the challenge, but when it first happens, I feel away. Yeah. Yeah. When you say why or what, I'm the my, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. my bones yeah. tingle. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no why in this shit. This shit not up for direction. <laughs> you feel me? And I got right. autistic truth. It was so. a time, it was a time where I had to catch myself when I got the why or whatever, and I'm like, wait, who the fuck you think it's but then I had to Catch myself because it's like a well, like, your head in. but put right. yourself in their shoes. It's mm -hmm. like, but why? Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. real talk. They so. just trying to understand real, why. Try, give them an understanding of certain and, things. And sometimes you gotta realize when certain situations, it's no good way to be like, why? Well, right. how could you? Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I want to know. No, how go, can go you take this out back. Why? Yeah. Right. So yeah. it was. Yeah. Fuck you, mean <laughs> why? Let's <laughs> think about it. You but have you why. ever, when no. they even if they ask My why, and no. you gave them a reason, and they give you a reason why they ask yeah. why, you be like, damn, they make sense though. It I want to yeah. know. It, it was way better. Then my solution and right, what I thought. Right, but that's right, the right. generational yeah. that we yeah. we fall victim to thinking that they don't they shouldn't have a yeah. voice. And right. that's not fair. Yeah, right. it's not. Right. Yeah. I, tell me this. You got two boys, two girls. You got the best of both worlds in two times, right? How do you separate that? Like as far as uh how you deal with them, how you might discipline them. Nah, everything, everybody equal. Get, get, <laughs> everybody <laughs> equal? And discipline, everybody equal. It's not no, oh, she a girl, I got to take a lighter on her. Well, right? you're a woman, so it's 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 a lot different. But than... I'm a woman that went through different phases of life, and I, I realized that the more pressure, the 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 stronger you came, came so out to shit. Get up out of here. Get your ass up out of here. <laughs> nah, so 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 for me, right? Let me let me tell you why I'm asking you this. Let me put a little bit more dialogue behind it. My son, he's 14. My daughter, she's 10. I could sock my son up, you know, as a man. Yeah. And get up on his ass. I can't do the same thing with my daughter. Facts. Mm -hmm. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or say sex. We're talking about sex. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it real on all aspects. But at the same time, it's certain things I can talk about with my son because I've experienced what my son's about to experience or what he probably have experienced. But you can't say you what, what he's about to experience or what any kid is going to experience because the times have changed 
and they constantly changing. So I you don't know what or how he's going to experience like, it. He could, could experience it differently because you got some people thinking that they kid going to be straight and be fooling them the whole time. Right. No, you that's get true. what I'm saying? Right. So right. you don't know what they going to experience right. or what they going to address. I can tell you just him. giving him knowledge <laughs> far as what you I experience. I can tell him we're busting the <laughs> don't first nut. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. I told my son, I said, listen, bro. I said, listen. And you having fun. It's cool. Everything's good. Say, so understand. When you bust that first nut, there's no coming back, bro. That's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, but you got to put yourself in the shoes of... He not worried about no coming back. He ready to go full fledged exactly. now. You None of us was. Right, right, like. right, None right, of us right. never wanted to come back. You talk about bust that first night, ain't no coming back. He like, I don't want to go back. He going to want to go None right, of us right. never right. want. That's my point. So, but yeah. this You're, is the thing. You got to tell him what all comes with press and play after you you did yeah, that. Right. It's, for sure. it's so right. much come with for that. Sure. Right. You got things that you're going you gonna to be interested in and you got things that you don't need to be interested in. Right. And, sure. and that's the same way you run it down with your daughter, whether you a woman and was able to experience sure. it or not. You know how you came at the females that the, you thought was weaker than the others and you know how you came at the females that was solid and you yeah. know I can't play with her. For sure. Yeah. Right, For right, sure. Right. So you Real give shit. her the For knowledge sure. of based on when For she's sure. in them shoes For and sure. she's approached by these type of For energies. Sure. Right. Right. That's sure. how you do it. And that's For why sure. I say it's no line or it's no, oh, you can't be... You, you can't sugarcoat it because she's a girl and he's no, a boy no because you got to realize saying, the girl get more pressure than the boy. That's the line for me because, right, like, I teach my son. You go up to somebody or whatever like that, you be courteous, you be kind, you yeah. be gentle, mm -hmm. you can't yeah. do these certain things. My daughter, she's not going to hop out the car unless I come open the car door for her. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's the tone that I've already set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? She's not going to sit down at the table unless the chair is pulled out for her. Mm -hmm. So when my son is different. So it's not like that with my son. So that's why I ask, like, how, what's the right. differential right. that you teach and instill right. in your kids? Yeah. You okay, for like an example. So it, it's almost like saying, like, don't it sound like the boy got more freedom than a girl, though? But that's how yeah. it is. Really. No, no, that's not, how on it purpose, is not on purpose. Yeah. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. But set your the son, standard. it's almost like saying he a boy and he good. Like, like you don't gotta really prep him no. too well, you gotta, much. But you gotta, he gotta, gotta teach him to open the door I'm for teaching, the girl. Yeah, he's to yeah. teach you him how open to open the door. Okay, pull so the you how, pay for this how do you day? teach him? How do you teach him what not to accept? Then, since he's doing all the open the door, how do he know when he got a, a special woman? How do he know he got How a special woman? How he know woman? he got a special woman? Because she got to stand for something. If she just, if she out here just talking like to everybody. Like what qualities, she, like for example, she, the first thing of, of before the day gets started, we got to get out the car. So your daughter already know he bounced out, he opened my door. Oh, okay. So she already is going in the right direction. I'm not going to judge, but before it gets to that point, even you have to have a kind of some kind of reper repertoire or whatever, even if. He's just opened the door for a female or whatever. This is still a girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. At the end of the day, I'm still going to respect you. Right. It's up to you to lose my respect. That's what I teach him. It's up to you to lose my respect. I'm not going to just say, oh, just because they clowning you or whatever, or just because you're not this or you're not that. I'm not going to treat you like a young woman because you are still that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's up to you to lose that. And just like my daughter, it's up to you to lose a man's respect. But everybody's not raised the same, even on the man. They don't open your doors or whatever like that. But you even know? sometimes, sometimes you're dealing with people that you got, like we were just talking about, uh, the, the, the generation is getting younger, the parents and the grandparents getting younger and younger. You got people that I, I'm an understanding person. So I've dated... Fucked up people, but not intentionally fucked up. Nobody never, ever taught them. Like, right. because they mamas was either too hood or mm -hmm. too in the streets and dad wasn't around right, or whatever. Right. So it's like, just because a person ain't that yet don't mean they can't be that. I'm not so saying that. So even with uh, a man not opening a door, I'm, I teach my kid to... 
my kids to know also that everybody not kicking the same knowledge or teaching exactly. or putting the same quality in their kids. And it don't make this person a bad it person for not knowing. Right. After you run it by them, though, Listen. like, because, for example, we could go out and he don't open my door <coughs> and now I could be like, dang, you know, um, I was raised by my father. He opened my doors and right. he felt like a man opens a woman's yeah. doors. Right. The, and it's up to you to be like, oh, my bad. Like, yeah, I didn't know that. But right, it right, go back right. to us playing like we know everything. Right. We will the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's where we always go wrong, trying to be too cool. Right. Instead mm -hmm. of just being like, oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Like, But right. I got you. Yeah. You yeah. can teach people as you go along And that's way. true. Because yeah. I wasn't so taught that. You when I'm raising I'm my kids, I'm not raising them to... This stands for this this sex, and this stands for this sex. Even though it is a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Like a woman could be a hoe, but a man can't. You know, right, I'm right, double right. standards. But at the same time, when I teach them, I teach them from both aspects because I am a single mom, and it ain't a man in a house. Mm -hmm, so right. I have to give them the out the view of, but a man gonna move like this, and he gonna think this way. Exactly. The good one gonna do this, and the bad one gonna do exactly. that. But the one in between, they got hope. You feel me? Mm -hmm. After you do a certain or introduce them to a certain thing, if they don't start switching it up, that mean they comfortable exactly. with being over there and exactly. let them stay there. Right. And right. I'm going right. to tell Some, you like this. Everybody need a little bit of help right. in For different sure. aspects. Hell yeah, because right. I wasn't I'm raised saying? like that. Right. But I'm just saying, by me having a daughter that puts so much softness on me, and not even only that, yeah, everybody not taught like that. But I'm right here. Right. So if you call yourself dating my daughter, and it, it's how we do this. Right. You Facts. feel me? Facts. I'm not trying to change you or nothing like that. This is how she do this. Yeah, this we, but because as a man, I'm that's, that's respectable to I'm sit down and have that talk. But how, how many men really have, have... So you haven't experienced so her dating yet. Regardless to what they doing, I'm teaching you how we going to do this right. and what you should do. But I'm said. saying, how many of y'all dated a woman and they dad sat down with you and told you, this is how we do it around here. Or I I, I raise my daughter like this, and you got to pick up from here. I probably yeah, dated one one female. That like never that. happened. In high okay, never happened. so In high so even and with, she lied to her parents. Even with today, you could be addressed with it and being a grown man, not know mm -hmm. how to react or right, right, Cause right. Because you grown. Yeah. Right. You feel me? And a right. man trying to tell you how to, a bitch right. I'm bending over, I got right. full control over, you want right. to tell me. Right. How to treat her. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I got you. It's you like, got even in the black community, like, you don't have black men really, you know what I'm saying, sitting there and being like, oh, I raised my daughter like this, so you should do this and you should do that. And nigga come in with his pants sagging, you off top got an attitude. It's like, nah, cuz he got to get up out of here. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus right. like, Look, my boy, pull your pants up. I respect when you come in my house. Right. But you dealing with our culture That's that how I right. am. You yeah. dealing yeah. with our culture that now dad wanna now dad wanna punk my boyfriend. Though. I wanna, right. I wanna you feel teach. me? Versus right. teaching him and showing him the proper right. way, he probably never had that. Right. 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 So right. teach him how to love me and how to respect you and your household sure. or whatever, because right. shit, he coming from section eight. Right. But see, they ain't right. never had a house. Right. Yeah. They right. don't so, know how to Speak when you walk in the doors and right. you, you all the qualities. You right. feel sure. me? So Everybody I don't count nobody out, but at the same time, I'm here. Yeah. Right. So yeah. this, listen. At the end of the day, I'm not controlling my daughter's life, but this how it go. Yeah. This what she. This what she know. So this now, is what you should. Uh, it's do. a lot of dads that's faced with street niggas that looking at you that. You too nice. You and I'm, from, tell I'm me. from the street. No, but I'm saying you you from the streets, but you still gonna get older, and your daughter is gonna get older, but still be younger, yeah. and she gonna have a high head. <clears throat> I'm not saying I'm just throwing it out there. This don't gotta happen, but I'm saying, how would you face a young nigga that don't want to hear nothing you saying that? Dealing with your daughter and feel like she gonna do what he say anyway, and grown, you need to stop hollering she, at me. If she grown, grown if she grown, grown, that's her decision. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I did the best I could do. I showed her. I don't feel failed. I don't feel like a failure. Nothing. I did what I had to do. Right now, to this day, she's gonna sit in the car until me and her brother open the door. Right, 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 right. So I don't know where where it could. Right. If it a change, I don't know. But I know I've done me. Knowing that I've done what I did and I've taught you and instilled these things in you, it's up to you right. to apply that right. shit. If you don't, that don't mean I right. feel like a failure. Right. Right. Yeah. right. With so that, so it is what it is. With that being said, we had a dope discussion. 
I hate that we gotta wrap it up. We gotta bring up. you back. We, we gotta, gotta bring, we you, gotta bring back. you back, man. And I thought you your got... name was Book of Felly. I was like, oh, she Tupac. Tell them where they can find you at, Eli. Oh, my Instagram, Book of Eli, is no Book underscore B O O K O F E L I 5 5. For sure. Man, we had a dope discussion. I appreciate it. We, we appreciate, appreciate yeah, you yeah, coming through. Man. Hate that we gotta end it right now, but. We, we still we got bring you, We bring you back. We got a lot to talk we about. Got, we got, I had a yeah, list of questions that we didn't even get to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> came back, man. Sure. Y'all already know where to follow us, man. Y'all tap in, man. Tap in. Down and Diligent Podcast, one of the dopest podcasts to ever do it. You understand what Instagram, I'm saying? Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, YouTube. Follow, subscribe, comment. All that. Dad Podcast. I'm Down and Diligent.